Huge congratulations on getting through. That, that, that was a tough battle. I guess that, yes. But he's, he's good, he's good. I thought when he was talking the talk, I think then, I think you're going to get the pressure on you a little bit. Here. And, then, then, and I knew from the very beginning, you're under pressure. And then he had some good scores and he had a lot of bad scores. But he was under pressure. In the old day when they used to talk the talk, you used to love that. Did that fire you up again tonight? Oh, did I have and I'm hitting, I mean, I, I threw some lovely darts. We're all around the treble. Again, on the practice board, they're going in. I'm going up there, and they just did it. I think it's the light's a little bit brighter, and your eyesight's a bit different, but it just didn't seem to click. And then all of a sudden, at the right time, he hit the right score. And that was, that was the only difference, really. Champions mentality, that switch upstairs, that 1-6-1 one, one was an absolute game changer. <laughs> it's not a champion's mentality. It's just something you look at and you think, right, if you hit the treble, make sure you hit the treble 17. And then once you hit the treble 17, you think, well, hmm, let's have a shot. And all you're thinking is, to be honest with you, I'm going for the ball, but I'm thinking if, I'm, if I get anywhere close or it's a big 18, I'm going to put you under pressure. And that's what you do. Tomorrow it's going to be a hostile crowd against Richie House and the local, the local boys had some support in here. Have you seen the fans oh, that he's had in? do you know it's going to be a hostile crowd? You don't know. You don't know yet. You don't know yet. You don't know. I've got three people on my side. <laughs> so. On the crowd... When they were there singing Walking in a Tailor Wonderland, still, mm. does that still give you goosebumps? It does, of course it does. Every time I go shopping in Asda, it's exactly the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, of course it does. It's, 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 uh, well, yeah, of course it does. I don't get that. I mean, I'm, I'm retired as such, but, you know what I mean? I live a very quiet life now. You know what I mean? I watch Judge Judy in the day. <laughs> I don't get there's only one Phil Taylor. So it's, it's, it's lovely. It really is. You know what I mean? And if I was to die next week, I'd be dead appreciated for what, what's gone on. Phil, congratulations. You're very welcome. Thank Phil, the, the red and black Dennis Priest shirt up there, did that bring back some memories? Did he have it? But he wasn't as good as the fellow who actually owns the shirt. Dennis was a, uh, a lot better player than he was, trust me. What would it mean if you could go all the way tomorrow and win again? At the oh, it's lovely, of course I would, yeah. I'd, I'd love to be, you know, another senior world champion, whatever. It's it's great, it's great just to be here, to be honest with you. you know, just be invited is a bonus. You know, and get sponsorship, we've got TV, you know, who'd ever thought? I retired nearly five years ago, and all of a sudden I'm back on TV again. It's mental, it really is, but I'm very, very appreciative, and I enjoy every minute of it. Richie Housen said it's on his bucket list to play you on the big stage. It's a big yeah. for him tomorrow. Do you think it might get and to And str- how strange is that? Richie Housen's on my pocket list as well. My bucket list, he's on my bucket list, not my pocket list. No, I'd love to play him. And I'd, I'd, listen, the atmosphere against me and him tomorrow is going to be electric. So, three games if you have to go all the way. Do you think the energy levels are there to take it to the next level? <laughs> the energy levels? No, of course they're not. But it's all, it's different. You got there, you're shattered, and you do. You know, you're you're 63 years old, nearly. So you're not, you know. But all of a sudden, you get under pressure, and then you have that little bit of a boost. So you have to dig in. Phil, did you think five years ago when you retired from the sport that you'd be back up here? What are we doing this? So? No, of course they didn't. And when they actually give the idea to me, I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. And then that was like 12 months beforehand. And then all of a sudden, the 12 months come up and I'm thinking, what have you done? Why have you said yes? You know what I mean? I've got a, I've got a perfect life. I, you know, I'm, I'm relaxing. I'm watching Judge Judy and Bargain Hunt and doing everything else. In fact, two or three sets of my daughter have been on Bargain Hunt since I've been watching it. But it's been brilliant. It really has. And all of a sudden, I've got to practice. Yeah, we just- but all, all of a sudden, I've loved it. I've really enjoyed it. I'm not the same player, but I'm doing a few changes, and I've, I've, I know what I'm doing wrong. But I, but it's very difficult to put it right because I'm not playing what you call match games every week. Do you feel like your presence on stage still plays a big part in the head of, of your opponents? I think so. I think so. Of course it does. No, I'm a big scalp, I suppose, even at my age. When I play John Lowe, he's a big scalp. I mean, I still get a big kick out of playing Barney. I get a big kick out of playing John Lowe. You know, anybody, Bob Anderson. The names, you know, they're ex-world champions. Of course you, will. of course you will.